Let me tell you, they, they do struggle to find round number 16 and Astralis are the masters of the comeback. They're not yeah. chokers anymore. They know how to get themselves back in these games. And the loss bonus of the CT side will be $1,900 coming to the next round. We might not even have to have that discussion. Oh, this boost towards the round from the, the opening kill. This could be enough here. It's oh, frozen with multiple players in front of him. Rob's will try and chime in. He's got three. Could this be the moment? It's He's not quite it. there. It is. And the shotgun will find it for Mouseport. 16 to 12. They knock Astralis out of the tournament and book. Isso, velho? Que isso? Você viu isso, Duta? But... No, countless other tier 2 pros that were all in it and never got spoken to once about anything ever. Mm. About any decisions made, anything, nothing. All of a sudden, something will come up. CSPPA decided this. It's like, who? Well, all these, uh, the people that are in charge of it, all these ex players, like, who picked them? We didn't pick them. Who picked them to represent us? We didn't. Was there never any votes? I no, thought... no. Are you sure? I thought that was like one of the big selling points. I never got asked to vote on anything. We were told this is who was re who the representation was. Maybe they voted amongst the tier one pros, like I'm saying, but all the right. people who were in it, they didn't get any votes. That's or I crazy. didn't get a vote. I and, no, I, and I was I had in no it. idea, dog. Yep. Like, I was in it. I didn't get a vote. So. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, go. Uh, <laughs> easy, a chill. <laughs> <gasps> oh, bueno. Shoot! Where? 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 Let's go, guys. What you wanna do? Give us some face call, please. Let's face call. Ah. Nico, yeah. Smoke top mid fast, so we window smoke someone and short smoke. I'm killing everyone. I will smoke already. short. I think yeah. I window. I smoke top mid, I have a smoke. Okay, I'll smoke. This is window. Good terrain. <laughs> window, right. So, what we do when we do this? Nothing, you can quit. Nico kills, we watch. <laughs> <laughs> Точно никак нельзя, ну и банально 10 секунд здесь, ну бомба-то может и поставит, так, хорошо, минус есть, от кита, но все, по нему есть вся необходимая информация, ретейк 3 в 1 должен быть крайне легким для игрока команды, для игроков, точнее команды Virtus.pro, ну посмотрим, посмотрим, все-таки история Counter-Strike знает немало клатчей, опа, о, ч, не, ну не, ну не, ну не, Position like this, at this stage in the after plan. Rosen can secure the round if they need him. Nice. Does draw the attention enough for Glaive to find another frag. And Glaive's found two. Frozen. He can save Mousepot. He just has to stop the defuse. That's his mission. That's his objective. And a one versus three. And Molotov's the cherry on top. Glaive goes down. Frozen. All against all odds. Finds three. And the second for Mouse. That's insane. Well played by Frozen. They had no idea. He took such a risk as well, essentially putting his teammates on the end of the fishing rod at that point. They were all fighting two for nail on the bomb site. He was actually tucked away outside, allowing Device to find a kill for main entrance. But if he wins the round, all is forgiven. The Molotov is what secured it as well. Dropped that on top of the bomb as the bomb was being defused there. Glaive could do nothing about it. Finishes it off with a stunning spray of the AK-47. Three versus one. Você só me fode, velho. No! Que? Clipa! Nossa senhora! Que? Backside dead. One HP shot. One. Short, Short one. Edward. 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 Edward.
Wait till the scout patiently. Smoke goes down. I dare say he gets his first kill. It looks good for him, and he will nail it up to the Desert Eagle of Debris. Oh! And it goes down. He delivers when they need him most. Carrigan saves the day there. Two beautiful scout shots. Four kills in total. He hasn't arrived on Dust 2 until this point, but that could be the most important round of the game oh, so far. Oh, I thought Astralis had done it again. Broken mouse sports with a measly buy, but it's Carrigan who pulls them back into the round. Four HP, four kills against his old teammates. That's 10 to 7. He still managed to slow the round down with 15 seconds. It's actually starting to look promising. Frozen has a molly here. As soon as they start planning, if he throws oh, that, they can't perfect, get the bomb though. down. It has to be perfect. And it is. But oh, he's got it down in time. Zipex is burning down to 44. Frozen's already caught his teammate. One versus two for Frozen above the box, and he finds it. Mouse Sports will take the first and much needed round. They needed to pull out the fourth. Wow, that round really had everything there. It was explosive. It was exciting towards the B site. That's where Astralis went. We talk about lo looser play style in these first gun rounds, knowing your opponent's force ball in the second. And there it was, mouse balls, no diffuse kits, barely any utility. It was a B play from Astralis, but Rops held them off. Two kills the M4 towards the back of the site. It was enough to push them back there, but it was a one kill from Zipex from Long. The backstab came in. This is the kill right here. Foxy doesn't see it coming, and then Carnage ensues after. Device manages to bring it back to a two on two, but Frozen, we talked about him and his performances from Mouse Wars being influential in their success. Manages to win this big one-on-one -on -one against Zipex here. He jumps up, trying to slow them down, but he wants to stay alive here. Beautiful stuff. Again, double smoke towards spawn. A little bit clunky from Astralis. As this round falls in Mouse Wars' favor. Going for the clean sweep. Not quite going to find that, but it's good as, really. Yeah, one more or two more. Yeah. Flash? Lurs, just one away. Just one away, Lurs. Stupid. You, what are you doing? Man. What are you doing, Santaris? Oh my fucking god, man. That's fine. I think I'm more ramp, but I threw my. Yeah, it looks so close to me, dude. Once he spawned, I just got rich so hard. I tapped on his head from my place. Oh, we're tied up, boys. What happened? Honestly, I don't know. Started hitting our fucking shots, baby. A little slow, you know, sometimes we just need to, you just need to see the round. I do. Hold on, I want to run across Trekker, they'll do smoke for you. I kind of landed it last time. Oh, I want your pistol. Okay, take my pistol. No, come here, come here. I want this pistol. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot your shot. Mommy, you're so dirty. <laughs> sometimes. Oh. Going out with a bang here on the ESL Pro League, and I kind of love it. Yeah, none in play right now. Ichi brought up these AKs and Galils in the second round, and they took it cleanly as well versus USP. He's not wanting to mess around with SMGs, but the messing has come from R. He's going to push up on the top, dropping two in the bomb. The mid flank is there, but is it going to be long enough? EG are uh, being forced to fight against Henny, who's getting aggressive towards the elevator. He tries to retreat and still what? will get that kill. Tarek getting caught out. Circ now alone. One on four, no AWP either. But what can he do? He's got a bit of time to play with. Yeah, there is a shot in this round. He takes his first couple. They're going to land on the arc. Takes a couple Suck. more. Finds Henny and Yuri. And now, even though this bomb is not in his control, this is still very doable. He finds himself low, pitted against K. Serato, who has an M4 there hiding out in the bottom of the ramp. Cirque is going to go for it. 20 oh. seconds off the clock. And, well, there just wasn't enough seconds left in his life to find that round. So we see Furia pick up their first. Here on Vertigo.